Good evening, everyone. Tokyo Game Show 2022. You are now watching TGS official broadcasting for Capcom. I am Kosuke Hiraiwa, MC for this program. Yesterday, we had lots of new information about Street Fighter VI, and today we have developers to ask more about this game. So first of all, Shuhei Matsumoto, the producer of Street Fighter VI, and we also have Takayuki Nakayama, the director. I am Shuhei Matsumoto, the producer of Street Fighter VI. I am Nakayama, the director of Street Fighter VI. So it's a three of us uh, for this uh, broadcasting. Here I was on. I saw that you were on the live uh, streaming yesterday. I also participated in dubbing as well, but the there are lots of uh, top secrets which uh, we have to uh, keep a secret until yesterday. And uh, it was a quite um, a rare opportunity for me to participate in Street Fighter in that way. And you probably we will be able to watch that once again as well. Okay, then let's talk about the first information for today. So first of all, I'd like to introduce uh, four characters uh, which uh, went public yesterday, and uh, they are all legend characters from the franchise, and uh, there are new actions or moves they learned for this new title. So first of all, former U.S. national fighting champ and XVP of the Masters Foundation can, and we also have a kind-hearted defender of nature, Blanca. Today, we would like to introduce the moves of two characters, and we also would like to see them fighting as well. Let's have the gameplay on the screen. First of all, let's look at Ken first. There are new uh, moves Ken learned. First, the one is Jin Lai Kyaku. It's a turning kick. And the, from the low kick and the upper kick. And also there's stronger kick, which is a turning one. And the, there's the overdrive and we also have another new move, which is Ryubikyaku, Jumping Dragon Rush Kick. And the, actually, the, you can change your position when you're in the air. And depending on the situation in the battle, you can neutralize this move. And let's look at Blanca. Blanca also learned some new moves as well, and the first one is Aerial Rolling Attack. It's a special move, and it's so Blanca. And you can use it as unique attack as well. And there's a very cute Blanca icon which you can find at the top of the screen. And the actually that you can use Blanca Chandos. And the it's a electric attack. And depending on the attack you use, there are different movements. And the, it applies also permutation on the opponent's move as well. Yes, there are various ways to use it, and you can use it as a shield so that you can get more closer to your opponent as well. So that was about new move, and now we have uh, Matsumoto-san and myself here, so we'd like to try the fight. This is Street Fighter VI, and uh, we have Classic type and modern type. So modern type is the one with a simplified 
manipulation and uh, it has assist button so that uh, you can use assist comb in a uh, easier uh, way and uh, we would like to try that out even though you are not familiar with street fighter you can still enjoy it and for those who are familiar with street fighter you can also enjoy it yes okay let's try it okay i'll play with blanca modern type and i will try 10 hours um classic manipulation <laughs> yes, they're <laughs> talking, and this is the first round. It's very interesting. So now Player 2 Finish counter Let they are taking a distance and As you can see there are different motions of characters And the, they are both are doing well Big damage the throw attack worked. So it was a modern type, and the, there were some combo attacks as well. And Nakayama san, you were playing with a classic type. How are you gonna use Blanca Chan, those? Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> so there's a commentary on commentary. And is there lots of tags? <laughs> Wonderful. So you are in a difficult situation, producer. Okay, now the attack is working. So that was very intense fight, a wonderful fight. <laughs> <laughs> Nakayama san, you won. <laughs> so there was the, the commentary the feature, and the, actually, there was nothing I should um, uh, do. Actually, it was the first time for me to listen to that as well. So, probably after you I go back, uh, you can um, enjoy uh, listening to that as well. <laughs> and the, the timing of the commentary was uh, wonderful as well, and uh, it makes the fighting more exciting. Even though you're playing this alone, you can still enjoy this game, and it was a very heated fight, and the, actually I wanted to introduce another game, so there's uh, more characters. Yes, let's look at these characters. Monk and Yoga Master from India, Daoshim, and a small wrestler looking to bring the sport worldwide. We have Edmond Honda. Yeah, let's uh, look at characters in the gameplay. Starting from Daoshim. So he is walking in such a mysterious way, and now he is flying up in the air. And he has a lot of a special move. He has yoga fire, and by holding button, you can change timing. There's such a special a uh, move. And there's also yoga arch, which uh, you must be familiar from Sp Sp Street Fighter Five. And there's new attack. Now he can. 
use yoga fire in the yoga comet when he is flying up in the air so he can change his position so that he can take advantage in the game and also there's yoga inferno so actually it is a uh, attack uh, which uh, you can use on the ground as well and also there's the wave like attack like this so there are various yoga fires and yoga inferno and now let's look at Edmond Honda. From Street Fighter V, there was a attack called Katayairi. And with uh, 6, we also have that. And uh, he has a new move, which is a small step. And this is a attack called It, it, it's uh, the attack which uh, you can um, the punch at the opponent. Okay, so let's uh, try the fight with the two characters. Okay, I'll play Honda with modern type. And Nakayama-san will play Daos Sim with classic type. So now uh, we can uh, try only the first round. So let's look at the situation with projectile. Yoga flame is used. And now they are coming to the center. So he is pushing, pushing the opponent. So now he is uh, throwing the opponent. And by using a good distance, try to attack from the air. Harite. Yeah, it was so Edmond Honda, it was a throw attack. Nakayama-san, you won. Sorry, actually it was a won by Matsumoto-san. The modern type Edmond Honda. So these are familiar characters for you and they learned a new move and the, you can enjoy the changing fighting style as well. So what's next? So when we are explaining uh, characters, uh, we also talked about training mode. With uh, Strike Fighter 6, we have some new addition to the training mode, so it's easier to use everyone. So this is what I will need to look at as well. So we have easy setting or simple setting. So let's up the game screen. When you open the main menu, this is the option you get. First of all, we have umpire practice. When you select this, you can update your setting so that um, you can uh, practice the move which is appropriate for that particular setting. And uh, the timing of attack is uh, quite random, yes, it's all set like this. The next, uh, let's look at a practice to respond drive impact. When you select this, there's a random movement for drive impact. And you have to respond to that um, move. That is how this practice works. Sorry, the screen is quite um, far from myself, so I had to actually respond this, but the, I cannot. And we also have a flame meter. This is actually a wonderful one. 
So when you have a move, so that this is a flame we have here, yes. And there are the various um, attacks of which uh, you can check. And actually, this feature is her very helpful for the development of GM as well. And this is what you can use for your training. And this is such a good visualization, yes. So these are training modes that we have, which is um, easy to use from beginner to experienced players. That was very good. So we have a new a mode, extreme mode, and uh, during the the battle, the the there's a cow or there's a metal. It's a very interesting a fighting by combining gimmicks and rules. We can have a different feel to the battle. And life bar is different from usual as well. Please uh, take a look at that as well. So let's show the battle to you. This time, We, we wanted to uh, provide the uh, opportunity to have fun. This is Flip Master. And you can see that the, where they are coming from. And you kick the other. Well, you don't have time to really look at the people around you to see where the opponents are coming from. So if you punch at the right timing, you can also return it. <laughs> or the, the timing, you miss the timing, both of them. Really fun. We hear that the cows too. But you can also have to watch uh, what the opponent is doing. Yes, it looks like it's very spacious, so it's easier for you to look at the gimmick. Okay. So you can have fun with your friends, and we have other gimmicks as well. You can have different ways of enjoying the title, except for regular fighting. Next, I'm sure you are looking forward to finding more about it. Yesterday, we show some movies yesterday, so I know that you're exposed to it. But we want to show you the beginning of the play of the world tour. This is in English. This, there are three menus that we are showing them to you for the first time. Is it money, authority, a cool job, a ton of likes? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's keep it simple. I want to be strong. Can you believe it? We got self-driving cars. The time's coming. We'll be taking rockets to Mars. And yet you still got folks out there using their fists and bodies to seek strength. Yeah, 
I hear you, man. We're all a bunch of fools. But, you know, if you want to know about strength, you just got to get to it. We fighting fools are all getting to it on the streets. Any recruit? Kids, take a breather. Welcome. This is Buckler Security Services. I'm Luke, the coach around here. You're here for basic training, right? Okay, let's get you measured up. From the beginning, everyone's working really hard. Main character, Buckler Security Service that Luke belongs to. And we started with time motion. And you can create your own avatar. Let's look at the function. Body type. And gender preset is also available. Users can make their own avatar as they like. And it's like a slider. Wow, we can adjust it like this. Edmund Honda. You can also select the amount of muscles and skin color. And also the brightness all stands out. And the body hair. Wow. Very detailed setting. You can create a character that you like. Wrinkles, you can choose wrinkles. Wow. Beard. Well, well, you cannot finish it. You will do this forever. <laughs> and you can put tattoos on your body. So you can change the characters if straight fighters. You can choose various things. Maybe I'll fast forward it. And you can create your own character. And training force. You can choose lots of characters. Yeah, gotta say, you're photogenic. Oh, righty, well, that should about wrap up your enrollment. Again, you can call me Luke. We're just coach. Okay, then, hope you're ready to begin. First, let's go over the basics. There are many ways to enjoy World Tour. Sorry about that. Tutorial 
for walking. Anyway, moving right along. I placed some panels on the floor. You see them? I want you to pass through every last one and then make your way back to me. Sound good? You can also change the camera angle. I didn't do we didn't do this before. Looks like you've got the hang of things. Let's get right to it then. Show me how you are with your fists. Street Fighters Battle Tutorial for that as well First we start with a modern mode And you can also select a crash mode later So you get used to it it's fun if you can use your own character for tutorial. <laughs> and for attacking, you can learn a lot in detail. This is a modern mode. You can select moves. Please look forward to it. I shouldn't have asked. Oh, that's okay. Nice work. All right, that about covers the basics. Kind of boring, right? I knew it. That's how the basics are. Simple and boring. But remember, even the biggest rockets need a stable launching pad for takeoff. Or else they're just gonna crash and burn. You get me? Coach, how is any of that gonna help him handle this? You might wonder who it was. Let's use uh, basic moves and beat up the other. Oh, looks like it's a tough match. Throw the other way, oh, other one away. I got defeated. Marsh, come on, man. Are you really gonna be the type to jump before you think? But coach, that was the kind of situation I want to learn to deal with. You're not here to punch bags either, right? Hmm. Ah, right. This is Bosch. He signed up with the same regimen you are. Look, both of you are my trainees, and you joined at the same time. So play nice, okay? Coach, we both came here looking for strength. Both of us are trying to find that strength. Sooner or later, one of us is going to get there first. What happens to the other person then? We all know that nobody's going to be friends after that, so why bother pretending now? Ah, oh, Bosh, my man. That's a really tough question. You gotta know what strength means to you before you go looking for it. You go looking for the wrong things, and you really might end up in that situation someday. But you know what? You can cross that bridge when you get to it. You two are still my plucky little trainees. Listen to what your coach says, and put your hearts into your training. Focus on that. All 
right. Okay, let's get back to business. You wanted something more practical, right? Well, practicality comes in many forms. But if you want to start off on the right foot in this city... Hit the streets! <laughs> we stopped at a very good scene. <laughs> we saw this much and we feels like we can play it right away. I'm sure you want to see the rest of the story, but please look forward to it. I'm very much excited. Yes, we are waiting for more information. Street Fighter 6 was announced in June and we received lots of response and lots of attention. Thank you very much. So far, we have Street, Street Fighter 6 development team to try to incorporate the challenging battle scenes and we want to make them all available at that time of launch in 2023. We showed the movie of the World Tour opening. We have unique characters, and we want you to experience the battle styles. And we are making 18 characters to make that available. We will keep adding content and characters to the launch. We have some time, but we will keep it posted, so please stay tuned. Thank you. Now, let's look at the world view and character setting of Street Fighter VI. Now, I'd like to invite one more guest, Kaname Fujioka, the art director of Street Fighter VI. I am art director for Street Fighter VI, Kaname Fujioka. Thanks for having me today. So, we would like to hear about the character design. So, how long have you been involved with this uh, character design? I don't remember, but it actually it's a long time. I think it's been about three years. And how long have uh, you been with uh, Capcom? Yes, um, as you can guess, I am actually a little bit old. And the, I was um, attracted by the world view of uh, Street Fighter 2. And I joined Capcom as a designer. And at the time, actually, we had the the people of who designed the 12 characters of Form Street Fighter 2, and they told me a lot, a lot about how to design characters. And I was a, a designer about for 10 years, and there was some structure change, and I became designer and the i was the designer for monster hunters and um actually i always wanted to be involved with street fighter but the i didn't have an opportunity in the past and even though i was designing the fighting game i didn't have an opportunity and actually nakayama-san is a good friend of mine and i always uh, said uh, to him that uh, I want to do this, I want to do this, and uh, finally this time I was able to be uh, the art director of this game. And uh, there's a new character, Luke and Kimberly, so what was your motivation to design these characters? So if you look at the characters from Street Fighters, they are from various uh, backgrounds and uh, various fighting styles, so as you can see, they have um, various kinds of um, bodies as well, and it's uh, because of their backgrounds and also their uh, fighting style as well. So we uh, looked at uh, from skeleton types, for instance, Luke, who is a main character, and Nakayama-san said that um, the Luke is a uh, Caucasian-American and the 
that is why uh, we um, study the muscles of um, Caucasians, then Luke has less fat, but he has huge muscle, and the, he has an MM background, but the, we wanted to have um, huge muscle on his back, and also he is very good at punching, so that is why we wanted to have good muscle on his arms as well, so that he can have a uh, and a stronger punch. And uh, next, Kimberly. Kimberly is an African American, and as you can see, the muscles at the body center tends to be bigger. And also, there's a huge muscle around the hip as well, but the there's um, less muscle at the at the end of the body, like arms or legs, and the, because uh, we wanted to have a sharp movement, so that is why we designed Kimberly this way. And another character, Jamie. Jamie is a library character of. Luke, so that is why we made him as an Asian character. And as you can see, he has a relatively sharp muscle, I would say, but he has a really big skeleton. And um, also, he had some flexibility with his body as well, and that is reflected to the character design. And uh, Jamie uh, is uh, good at uh, Chinese traditional martial arts. And uh, he also dances as well. He is a good uh, break dance dance. He's a good uh, break dance dancer as well. And he can do a very tricky moves as well and the break dance is such a, a unique dance and it was a little bit difficult for us to design so that is why we use the motion capture technology and uh, we asked the help for a break dance a professional dancers so let's look at how we did with motion capture technology so this is a basic um, the style, the martial art style. However, for his leg and moves, it's a little bit tricky. And he is yo, he is um, a professional dancers, and there are some tricks only he can do. So that is reflected to our game design. So. We added a uh, lot of uh, movement uh, to this character, and uh, we had a uh, lot of discussion on that as well. So that is why we had many moves, and uh, it's very cool and uh, it's um, very good in a uh, visual or graphic as well. And uh, we wanted to connect the movement of martial arts with the movement of dance. And uh, we had so much uh, fun in designing this. So there are three new characters. And uh, we also have some legend characters as well. So did you have any difficulties in designing their movements? They have such a unique characteristics, Honda, Daoshin, Blanca. They have such a strong characters. And uh, we spend a lot of time to think about what uh, we should do with uh, them because uh, we did not want to kill their uniqueness. So he has such a huge body because he has a small restaurant and the, the characteristic of his body is a good balance between muscle and fat and the when 
we designed his uh, movement. Uh, we also used a motion capture. We invited the former wrestler so that uh, we can um, reflect the posture and movements of real small wrestler. Next, Daoshim. So as you can see, he has long reach with his arms and legs, so it was a difficult bird. And also when you look at his face, it looks very serious. And also when uh, he used um, fire attack, he also used um, his upper for the very well as well so that is why we did a lot of work with um his facial expression as well next blanca blanca has uh the gorilla like a body he's not like a human so again he has this much massive body but the, he also has flexibility so he can be small he can be big so that is one of the characteristic of Blanca so we wanted to utilize that so how to change his body and also we look at his facial expression as well which is quite different from normal human being and uh, this was um, another very special technique uh, to have this special facial expression on Blanca. And after the announcement of Ken, now uh, we have more main characters. So I want to introduce Ken a little bit as well. So I had lots of good memories with Street Fighter 2, and compared to Ryu, Ken is such a passionate character. He is a man of passion. And I wanted to have a Ken in that way, so that is uh, what I discussed with Nakayama-san. And I saw the, the world view of Street Fighter VI uh, goes well with that uh, serious and the passionate uh, character of Ken. And uh, this is Shippujin Raikyaku from Street Fighter Three. This is such a cool uh, visual and this is uh, such an um, impressive um, scene for me. So there are some design from the past so probably some of you might notice um some of the expressions from the past titles and i want you to enjoy that as well Fujioka san thank you very much that was about character creation or character design thank you very much for letting us know about the background of the development so we talked about the characters of street fighters six we are going to hear more information i'm going to repeat myself closed beta test from October 7th to 10th, we are going to stream it at PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Series S, and Steam. Seven modes can be experienced, training mode and extra stream battle are, can be also experienced. This is a good opportunity to experience Street Fighter VI. And uh, this is going to be a ruffle, not uh, first comes first served. So please apply for this beta test. Next, esports information. Price money is thirty million dollars. This is to decide the world's strongest champion of the year and uh, all the players are having a fierce battle to be qualified to uh, Capcom 9 and they are fighting at Capcom Pro Tour 2022. There's still opportunity for you to go there. We are having Capcom Pro Tour World Warrior in 26 regions on the globe. 
We have our regular games uh, to gain points, and we also have regional final tournaments. If you win in those tournaments, you are qualified to play in Capcom Cup 9. Also, you will be nominated to get the Japan Esports Union professional license at the national championship. I'm this also telling you about this for the first time. This is the event for 35th anniversary. We are going to have a concert in Shibuya on January 29th at Lawson Ticket. Again, this is going to be a raffle style. This is going to be a live performance but this is going to be streamed live. You will hear all the songs of historical street fighter. Please come and listen to the music. Collaboration. We had some collaboration with Street Fighter V, but we are going to cover it with Onitsuka Tiger. What is it this time? This is Chun-Li and Kimberly are wearing Onitsuka Tiger's shoes. Currently, this t-shirt is be being produced and we hope to deliver this to you. We would like to make shoes as well. Lastly, we have an exhibition of Street Fighters in Osaka, starting on November 18, 2022, at Shinsaibashi Parko in Osaka. In the past, we had this event in Fukuoka, Tokyo, and Kita Kyushu. But this is an exhibition for the 35th anniversary, so we want to hold this event in Osaka. Next one, this is also exciting. Street Fighter VI Japanese image song is Wow. In 1994, Ryoko Shinohara and Tetsuya Komuro sang this song, but they are going to sing this again. And it's a version of 2023. It was revived. We have a movie to play for you. This is great. Our staffs are also very excited about it. Not just this. But we have a special message from both of them, from Ryoko Shinohara and Tetsuya Komuro. Hello, everyone. My name is Ryoko Shinohara. This is the Japanese image song for Street Fighter VI. We, we are singing this for the first time in 28 years. 20 years. It's been a long time. And I sang this very seriously for recording. I wasn't sure if I could sing it but I tried to remember how it was 28 years ago. I think the song sounds more mature. If you are listening to it for the first time, it, and also the, those who already know this song, I think it's still refreshing to you. Hi, this is Ryoko Shinohara. Good evening for everyone. 
There are many fighters, and Chunli is a woman. And Chunli and Ryoko kind of overwrap. And I want to cheer all the fighters. That's the message I want to send in Relix. Looks very built, but itoshikute setsunakute and kokoro tsuyokute. So those words came from that image. The lyrics stay the same. So please listen to the lyrics very carefully. Please listen to the song. Thank you. <laughs> that was the best, the most gorgeous messages. It's been streamed at Apple Music and Spotify and other music sites. So you can go visit those sites to listen to the music. We are running out of the time. Last comment. In 2023, towards the release, we are working very hard to develop it. Please looking forward to it. Thank you. That was the end of Street Fighter 6 special program. Thank you.